Hi, uh, OHBM Open Science uh, demo call watchers and listeners. This is Kirsty and Yuma Niso, who is going to uh, actually show what she looks like. <laughs> and we're just going to do a very, very quick little supplementary recording about MEG bids because um, although you did get to hear her answers during the live call, it might be quite nice to see her face while she's telling you about the project. So go for it. Tell us about the MEG bids project. Okay, so the, as I said, um, the MEG met bids is like an extension of the bids uh, to support MEG neuroimaging data. So as uh, MEG doesn't have any DICOM format as the MRI world has, it, this is very, very useful for us because every vendor, syst every system has its own formats and own specifications. So uh, the MECDITS is, it, it is the first common standard to describe data, share, and organize all the files. I love it. I did not know until you said on the call about the fact that there's no standard at all for MEG. So that is, yeah, that is really, really good. And one of the things that you said on the call was that um, there's a, a whole bunch of you that I think you said that you mostly knew each other before you started work on the this um, standard, this standard file naming system but you work in a collaborative document in a Google Doc. And I wonder if you have had new people that you haven't met. Has anyone come in and, and helped out with the project? Yes, uh, well, I, I have to admit that I didn't know all the people who are working currently on the document, but this is a, um, a open Google Doc that uh, any people, anyone can join and just put their comments. So if everyone listening has a suggestion and want to review, it's very welcome to contribute. Yes, that's awesome. And is it also a good place for people to come along and ask questions if they want to, like let's say that they're collecting some data now and they want to kind of put it into bid standard is is where would be the best place for them to come and find out more well they can follow the specs and if they have any doubt or any question they can just directly write us for the moment there is no um or a, a formal way to ask questions so it does email us that's great and there's the there's the bids mailing list which i think they could send a message or they could send you an email or there's also the brain hack uh, Slack channel, right? Like there's a, there's a yes, bunch of different uh, discussion group, and it's also people can join, and there's like an email list where all the questions are. And uh, I saw that you already have a bioarchive preprint about the specification, which is amazing. Congratulations. Uh, what's what's next? What are you still working on, or or what what would you be looking for people to help out with? I think uh, the next step, well, once it's published, the next step is to work on the derivatives. This is going to be also a, a lot of work, but I think it it will be worth it because um, for now we only hold raw data. Yeah, yeah. So once the data is processed, then this is also something we want to kind of uh, schematize and organize. That sounds, yeah, that sounds even harder probably than the raw data. But I suppose if the raw data is in bids, a standard format, then it becomes a little bit easier. Yes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. For analyzing data, this is it's awesome in in fact we are now working well there's an open uh, there's a, a number in frontiers who where we will describe how to go from road from nothing to the end of the analysis from starting to end uh, all the steps in the different toolboxes so everyone starting from bits could get their data analyzed that's amazing. That's amazing. This is the, the real magic that um, I'm sort of 
I, I think one of the things that I found really exciting on the on the call is and from talking with people who contribute to these projects is they just really want to make life easier for the next generation of PhD students and master students and postdocs and and everyone else. And what um, what what do you personally find most exciting to work on on this project? I think that with very minimal effort, maybe at the beginning, but very minimal, because the good thing of this is that it requires really minimal modifications or organization, then the, profit, the benefit is exponential. It's amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I am, I am so, so excited to have more people come along and, and try and use the, the MEG bids specification and, and send you questions and send you comments to make sure that, that their data fits in with the spec that you've built up. Um, is there anyone else that you want to sort of shout out and say thank you? I know on the call you listed lots and lots of different people that have been working on it. So do you want to just say thank you to them real quick? Yeah, all of them uh, from the different MEG labs that contributed. Thank you very much. And Sylvain, who has been the supervising and coordinator. And especially Chris, uh, who convinced us to, to move into, into the bits. This is amazing. This is amazing. Chris is the is the current chair of the OHVM Open Science uh, Special Interest Group, and I am very very confident that he's going to change the world even more so than he already <laughs> has done through all of these amazing initiatives. You are. Thank you so much. I'm really glad that we got to record this little extra video. And, yeah. Uh, have a lovely Thanks. evening. Bye.